Yeah, guys, welcome to AV at Moss. Um, let's look at the box office um, highlights for the day. Uh, posted a lot of this stuff on our social media handle, the box office uh, report. So be sure to uh, visit AV at Moss.com or follow me on social media at Immaculate in Bezo. You'll see the link to my um, social media uh, down in the description. And uh, follow me on social media so you, you'll be uh, aware of what's happening in the box office. Um, Frozen 2 blew the box office away and it's uh, the newest Disney release to make around $27 million in, in its estimated debut weekend. Now, I, I probably feel this is going to get to $130 million once the, um, the full actual numbers come in today. Uh, I'll be sure to update you guys on social media. I may not make a video like this, but I'm going to update it on our social media handles. Now, uh, internationally, it made two hundred and uh, two hundred and twenty-three million dollars worldwide, and which is actually the biggest for an animated film, bigger than Ice Age, um, bigger than Ice Age. I think is the Continental Drift, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I have to be sure of the um, the Ice Age uh, that it, it it beat. Now, as for countries that it be it, it really really blew away expectations in is um it did so well in uh, china which it did 53 million dollars now it's already been estimated that it will probably end around, around 10 million in china but from what i'm seeing with the way it opened it probably will get to 150 million in china um it did so well in korea like it's the third biggest opening for uh, any release from disney in korea behind avengers endgame and one other uh, film uh, from Korea. It did $31.5 million in Korea. It did uh, $18.2 million in Japan, which it was the biggest market that it made $250 million the last time. So with the way it made this kind of heavy number in Japan, I think this will run uh, close to $200 million in Japan or even a lot more because I think people in Japan love this uh, film a lot. UK did 17.2 million, which is a lot. Germany did 14.9 million. France did 13.4 million. Mexico did 9.3. Indonesia did 6.2. Uh, Philippines did 6.1. And Spain did 5.8 million. It's still going to open a more markets like uh, it's Italy, Russia, Australia, and Brazil. But this, these are big markets still coming by the end of the year and uh, early January. Now, uh, as for where it's going to end up, uh, this is a definite billion dollar um, hit. It's definitely going to not only hit a billion, but it will definitely challenge Frozen 1 for the total gross and probably would end its gross around 1.4 to 1.5 billion. I'll be sure to update you guys once that um, co um, comes to fruition. Um, number two on the box office list is Ford v Ferrari. That made sixteen million dollars for a total of fifty-eight million dollars in the United States and internationally. Let's see what it did internationally. Uh, internationally, it made fourteen point seven million in forty-three markets um, for a total of forty-five point eight and a a hundred and three point eight million dollars worldwide. There is a flop. I don't know why media is spinning it as a success or maybe it's doing well this movie is not doing that well you understand guys because the movie already had a, a budget of a hundred million dollars and for you to make money that really makes a, at least for this type of movie this movie needs to at least make close to 300 million dollars to break even so uh if this movie does not get to at least 280 million i can't justify this movie being a success regardless of the rating or the reviews it got or maybe the media trying to spin it as an average hit it's not a hit yet it needs to get a 280 million dollars for it to be a hit um now as for number three on the list you have um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood which did 30.5 million dollars in the united states 21 bridges did 9.2 million dollars which was more or less an underperformance considering the russo brothers um produced this film uh, and uh, if you don't know Russo Brothers, they made Avengers Endgame, which is currently the highest grossing film of all time with $2.8 billion worldwide. Um, Midway did $4.7 million and $43 million in the United States. Let's see what international numbers are showing us uh, for Midway. 
uh midway did 5.4 million dollars internationally so currently total now it's 99 million dollars global it's a flop guys because this movie cost 100 million dollars from Lionsgate to make and uh it really didn't uh make that much uh, in the last two weeks and i feel that it's not going to make more than 180 million which is a flop now um the other movies in the box office is uh playing with fire which did 4.6 million dollars in the united states for a total of 31.6 million is holding up well the good liar did 3.4 million for a total of 11.8 million charlie's angel is a disaster and one of the worst films of the year that was made with an agenda that didn't work out i just don't want to create videos on charlie charlie's angels because that's not really the focus of our channel but I think maybe there are sometime this week I have to make a video separate for Charlie's Angel and why it made less money than it should have. Um, but regardless, it just did 3.2 million and 13.9 million dollars in the United States. Uh, internationally, Charlie's Angel now is making less money than Maleficent International, where it made 4.6 million dollars internationally this week. Uh, for a total of 43.5 million dollars worldwide so probably this movie is going to end its gross around a total of 65 million dollars losing sony almost 15 million dollars in the process if not even more if you add um, the marketing cost and all that so as for the other top 10 um last christmas comes in at three three million dollars and uh, 27.8 million dollars well uh, sorry in the united states Joker still made $2.8 million and uh, $326 million in the United States. I'm, I'm trying to find Joker's uh, total international gross. Now, he did $7.6 million internationally and um, $708.8 million internationally for a total of one one point uh thirty six million one one billion thirty six million dollars worldwide so probably this would get to uh, maybe a billion sixty million worldwide before it finally leaves the theater now terminator dark fate was a flop um it's currently made 5.6 million dollars internationally for a total worldwide gross of 249.3 million dollars worldwide a massive flop this movie is going to lose more than 150 million dollars for paramount studio and skydance now uh mid uh, i'm sorry i've talked about midway then maleficent is doing very well now it's holding up well even with frozen 2 that is still competing with it uh, maleficent did 5.1 million dollars internationally and around 2 million dollars in the united states for a total of 472.3 million dollars worldwide so probably it will get to 485 million dollars worldwide before it leaves theater i wanted it to get 500 million but hell uh it's okay it had broken even as far as i'm concerned it more or less now it's just gonna make profit from as ancillary market blu-ray sales and streaming on disney plus uh the upside make three million dollars internationally so and uh around um 17.6 million dollars i think the total gross right now is 125.9 million dollars worldwide um 21 bridges made 2.7 uh million dollars internationally for 12 million dollars globally um, adam's family made 2.7 million dollars internationally for a total of 80 million uh in internationally and around 75 million dollars worldwide so this is getting a sequel coming i think next two years uh, dr sleep is a flop i think it did 2.6 million dollars and um and uh, i think the total right now is 62 points three million on a 50 million dollar budget this is a massive flop countdown made under two million dollars internationally its total gross right now is 35 million dollars worldwide um the movie um zombie land made two million dollars and has a total gross of 150 million dollars worldwide um, abominable did 1.3 million dollars as a total gross of 175 million dollars worldwide hustlers did 1.1 million dollars internationally and as a total gross of 115 million dollars worldwide good liar did uh, 1.1 million dollars and had a total gross of 17.2 million dollars globally 
Downton Abbey um, completed uh, the list uh, with 700k internationally and 185 million dollars worldwide. Harrietta still pulled in $800,000 internationally for a total gross of $36.1 million globally. And that, my guys, and uh, everyone that watches this channel, this is the box office for this week. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe uh, to our channel, and uh, be sure to bring you guys more updates like this from time to time. And I'll see you guys in the next video.